Hi, Ryan. Well, you've been around the net. Uh, I know one hasn't gone in for you yet, but how would you compare and contrast creating offense in the NHL to the AHL? Uh, I think it's a lot harder. I mean, uh, I'm getting chances. I'm getting a couple of looks, but you know, I'd like to you know, get a few more and kind of get around the net a bit more. But I think, uh, you know, they're obviously great players you're playing against. And, you know, it's tough to get pucks through and around the net, you know, they're really hard on you. So I think I got to dig a little deeper here and, you know, hope we can get something going. Like, is it just the, the goalies or, or that split second quicker in the NHL or, or defenders just, just on you a little more? What, what would you say about that? Yeah, I mean, goalies are better. You know, D, they get in a lot of the lanes and they, you know, are good at blocking shots and, you know, not really giving you many chances. So uh, it's kind of a combo of both. What, what do you feel is the closest you were? I mean, you had that backhand last night. Do you think that was the closest you came? Yeah, I mean, it's probably one of the, the better chances I've had. What uh, Have you thought about uh, when it goes in? Like, do you dream about that a little bit? Or do you try not to, to think about it? Uh, I think, yeah, of course. I'm kind of, you know, thinking about it, you know, kind of every day now. It's, uh, you know, hopefully get some, going soon. Marty Klinkenberg, Globe and Mail. Hi, Ryan. Um, I'm wondering, you know, you've, you've spent a little time now in the uh, the NHL and you're getting your feet wet. And you've spent time with Connor McDavid, I'm sure, and I'm sure around camp and things like that. But what has it been like for you to be watching him, you know, in, in this window that you've had where he's been putting up, you know, two to four points a game and he's pursuing 100? What's it like for you? Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I mean, uh, I've never really played with a player even close to his caliber. It's, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun to watch. And uh, he's a great guy around the room. He's kind of, you know, helping me, you know, throughout the games and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun to play with him. And it's, uh, it's pretty special the year he's having. Thank you very much. Derek Van Dees, Post Media. Hey, Ryan. Kind of along those same lines, what's it been like in the room as, as Connor inches closer and closer to that 100 point mark are you guys you didn't seem very excited about it but what are you guys feeling about it i mean yeah i i think he uh he doesn't really talk about it or anything he just you know goes out and plays his game and you know he's uh been on an absolute tear lately so it's been a lot of fun to kind of you know be a part of that and i think you know for him it's more about winning than really getting to that you know toll obviously it'd be really nice for him to do it and you know we're all you know really pushing for him and trying to help him out to you know get there but i think at the end of the day we're you know we're here to you know make a playoff run, and uh, I guess everyone's kind of main goal right now. When you watch him play on TV, it's one thing, and watch the things that he does, but when you actually get the chance to be on the ice uh, and, and watch him, what, what's that like? How, how much different is that doing, watching him do it live? <laughs> yeah, I don't think people really understand, you know, how much, you know, it seems like better he is than, you know, everyone on the ice. He kind of, you know, does everything at such a, you know, fast pace, and, you know, the plays he makes, you know, I don't even see them when I'm on the bench. Like, I don't even... I can't really even like tell what he's gonna do with the puck, and he just you know makes an incredible play. So um, it's it's really fun to watch and uh, kind of be a part of it. Thanks, Ryan. Paul Gazzola, Oilers TV. Hey, Ryan. Uh, a few days ago, Dave said that um, <clears throat> a player is probably or a player probably shouldn't be up with the big club if he's not showing confidence. Um, you've seen your role and your responsibilities elevate almost every game. Did you have that sense of belonging when you came up here? Yeah, I think, you know, first day in the room, everyone was, you know, super welcoming. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, coming with, coming with a you know, pretty good year in the American League, I, you know, had a lot of confidence coming up here. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, still trying to play with confidence and, you know, play my game and kind of, you know, find my game a bit here. So, uh, you yeah, know, it's been a lot of fun so far and hopefully we can keep rolling. And just along those lines, like what's, I mean, even today, just seeing the guys sing happy birthday to Yessi Pugliarvi, what's the team culture been like from an outsider coming in? That's great. I mean, everyone's, you know, super happy in the room. Everyone's, you know, super nice to uh, each other. So you know, it's been super welcoming, you know, coming in. And uh, it's really nice that we did that for Jesse in the middle of the ice. And just one final one that's kind of comes from a point of curiosity more than anything. Uh, I noticed you spray paint the blade of your stick. Um, and some guys can get a little religious with their stick templates and whatnot. Where did you develop that, and, and why do you like it, and why does it work for you? Uh, I kind of just started in junior. I just, uh, I just think it looks, you know, good with the the white, you know, uh, tape, and just kind of been rolling with it for a while. So, you know, we'll see if it uh, works. Might have to change it up soon. <laughs> All right. Thanks.